بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد تفسير سعد بن عبد الرحمن بن ناصر سعد رحمه الله تفسير سوره سبع من باس 46 قل انما قل انما اعيدكم بوحيد ان تقوموا لله مثنى وفرادا ثم تفكروا ما بسببكم من جنه ان هو الا نذير لكم بين يدي عذاب شديد كل ما كل ما سالتكم من اجر فهو لكم ان اجري الا على الله وهو على كل شيء شهيد قل ان ربي يكتب بالحق وعلم الغيوب جعل حق ما يبدي الباطل وما يعيد قل اني ذللت فانما يدل على نفسي وان تديت فبما يوحى الهي الي ربي انه سميع قريب Sayyid Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised you to do one thing only take this mother's rest and pray upon it in prayer or stingly sincerely seeking the pleasure of Allah there is no madness in your companion he is but a warner to you ahead of a severe punishment Hey naam Allahu musta'an say Whatever recompense, recompense I might have asked of you is yours. My reward is with Allah alone, and He is witness of all things. Say verily, my Lord, hals the truth against falsehood, and is the know of the unseen. Say the truth as calm and falsehood may can neither initiate anything nor restore anything. Say if I go astray, it is only to my own detriment, the detriment. But if I am guided, it is because of what my Lord reveals to me. Verily, He is all hearing, ever near. That is say O messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to these stubborn disbelievers who have taken it upon themselves to oppose the truth and reject it and to criticize the one who brought it I advise you to do one thing only that is one thing which I am pointing out to you and advising you to follow which is a fair path I am not calling you to follow my opinion or reject your own without any justification for doing so that thing is to which I am calling you is take this matter seriously and reflect upon it in peace or singly sincerely sincerely seeking the pleasure of Allah Uh, that is take this matter seriously and put some energy into it with the aim of following what is right and being sincere towards Allah as a group discussing and, dis and debating the matter or individually each person thinking to himself if you were to reflect upon the matter in peace or singly seeking the pleasure of Allah then you will think rationally and things will become clear to you and you will reflect on the character of your Messenger Allah Salam is he really insane with the characteristic of one who is insane in the way he speaks in the way he looks and in the way he bears Or is he a true prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is warning you against that which will cause you harm and what lies light and lies ahead of you of severe punishment if they accept this exhortation and put it into practice then it will become clear to them more than others that mr sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not insane because his attitude is not that of insane people with their choking trembling and staring that he has is the best of all attitudes and is the most dignified in the way he carries himself the most perfect attitude humanity tranquility humility and dignity it can only be the most nature and wise of them Moreover, if they ponder this is eloquent words and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful speech that fill their heart with 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 reassure and faith, uh, purifies uh, souls, cleans uh, cleans hearts, make one aspire to sublime sub attribute, encourage good manners, and let one from bad manners and attitude attitudes. They will see that when he speaks, people look at him with awe and respect. This could this in any way resemble the mumbo jumbo of the insane and their errant behavior. And all reflects on the prophet's character and what he was calling people to for the purpose of finding out whether he was the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam or not and whether he thinks by himself or with others because he was indeed the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sallallahu alaihi wasallam and was truly his messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is especially true in the case of those to whom his those these words were initially addressed namely his uh, contemporary contemporaries who knew everything about him from his childhood onwards There is also another matter that discourages people from following the one who calls people them to truth which is the fear that he may take the wealth of those who respond to him and take it as a take it as a payment for him 
preschool. And Salah Salaam Ta'ala explained that his messenger Salah Salaam was far above doing such a thing as he said, so whatever compass I might have asked of you for your following the truth is yours that is it is in your favor that the reward is yours, my reward is with Allah alone and is with and his witness over all things that is his witness encompasses what I call people or call people to. So if I was lie, I were lying, he will seize me with his punishment. And he's also witness over your deeds and he's recording them against you, then he will record you for them. Having highlighted the proof which is, which is indicative of the holiness of the truth and the initiative and the value of falsehood, Allah SWT now said that this, this, is the, this is the way and that he has the truth and the falsehood and it crushes it. We are putting precious because in the preceding verses he highlighted the truth and repeated the the views of the disbelievers, which is a lesson for those who are willing to learn and a sign for those who reflect. As you can see, the views of the disbelievers were defeated and their lies and stubbornness were clearly exposed, the truth prevailed and shone brightly. And falsehood was proven invalid and suppressed. That was because of the proof presented by the knower of the unseen, who knows that it is in their hearts of whispers and specious arguments, and knows what may oppose that, that and counter it of proof and of evidence. Thus he announces it to people and explains it to them. And he says, The truth has come that it has appeared and become as clear as day, and its, and its, and its authority has, has, been, has been made manifest. And the falsehood can neither initiate anything nor restore anything. The falsehood has diminished and has been given, proven to be, to be valid. Its power has vanished, so it, is, it, is, it, it neither initiates anything nor restores anything. When the truth became clear by virtue of, call, of the call of the Messenger of Allah and the disbelievers accused him of being misguided, Allah told them of the truth and explained it to them, highlighting their, their inability to resist it, and informing them that their accusation against him of being misguided could not, uh, could not harm the truth in any way and could not award of what the Prophet Allah brought if he did not go astray. Which is not possible, but he is mentioned for the sake of argument, he will go only go astray to his own detriment. In other words, the harm resulting from him is being scared will be limited to himself and will not affect others. But if I am guided that is not from me or by, by my own strength or power, that my guidance is because of what my Lord reveals to me, that is the cause of my guidance, that just, as, just as the cause of the guidance of others. For my Lord is all hearing and all hears all words and voices. ولو ترى إذا فوزي فلا فوت وقت من مكان بأخريب وقالوا من نبيه أن له تنوش من مكان بعيد ماذا كفروا به من قبل يكذفون بالغيب من مكان بعيد وحل بينه وبين ما يشتهون كما في ربي الشواه من قبل إنهم كانوا في شك مريب If only you could see them when they are striking with terror but there will be no escape and they will be saved from near at hand They will say now we believe in the message but how can they reach out for it in faith uh, in faith uh, I was uh, in faith from such a distant place, seeing that they disbelieved in it before, and they made far fetched conj conjectures about them. Seeing they will be prevented from attaining what they desire, as was done before with others of the ill of the ill, so for they were indeed in, 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 gra in grave doubt. If only your messengers and those who follow you could see the state of, the, of these disbelievers uh, when they are striking with, uh, with, uh, with error, with error upon seeing the punishment and what the messengers told them about. By disbelieving it, then, then you will see something momentous at a refining sin and a harm a repulsive of intense distress. That will be that will be when the punishment becomes due to upon them and they have nowhere to flee and no escape and they will be seized from near at hand. That is not from, not far from the place of punishment. Rather, they will be seized then drawn, then drawn the fire. They will say at that point, now we believe in Allah and we believe in what uh, in, in, that, in that in which we disbelieved. Uh, but how can they reach out for it, uh, for faith from such a distant place? Now that they have been prevented from it and it has become something possible in this, in this situation, if they had believed at the same time when it was possible to do so, their faith would have been accepted. But they disbelieve in it. Uh, they, but they disbelieve. But they disbelieve in it before and they made far fetched conjectures about their sin, so as to refute the truth. But there was no way they could achieve that. That is, there was no way for one who draws something from a great distance to hit his target. By the same token, it is, it is impossible for falsehood to overdo to overdo to over him there, the truth or defeat it. Rather, falsehood may have the upper hand for a short while when the followers of the truth are in the state of ignorance. But when the people of truth pay attention and raise falsehood, it will it will be suppressed. They will be prevented from attaining what they desire, namely physical measures, children, world, servants, and troops. And they will come only with their deeds. They will come singly as they were exaggerated, and they will leave behind all that they had been given of worldly miseries, as was done before with others of their ease of the earlier nations when their doom came to them and they were prevented from attaining what they desired. 
for they were indeed a grave dog that will lead to a certainly an eternity. Therefore, they do not believe, and if they seek, seek to make amends, do not be allowed to do so this day. Not the commentary of Rasulullah Sallallahu All praise and thanks are for Allah, and with the blessing and peace, and, and, and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his family and his companions, until the day of judgment.